Hi, this is Adas from Mike in Canva, and in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can create the bubble effect. This is super easy, although you would need a pro account for some elements that I'll use. If you don't have a pro account, I'm happy to give you 45 days for free, no strings attached. You'll find the link in the comments below or just scan this code. So are you ready? Let's go. I've opened up this design and I've chosen this photo. I've dragged and dropped it into the background. And now what I need to do is to go to elements and then search for a round shaped frame. I'll pick this first one, which is a perfect circle. And I'll just position this in the center and in the middle. This will make the work much easier. You'll see in a few minutes. Now let's go back to our photos and drag the exact same photo into the frame. Now you'll notice it is a bit smaller. What we need to do is double click on that photo and stretch it to the size of the photo in the background. Try to make a perfect match and click on done. Now it's hard to see the difference between the frame and the background photo. Therefore, let's click on the background and blur it a little bit. At the end, you'll see how important it is to blur the background. So I'll go to edit image, go to adjust, click on see all, and just shift the blur very gently to the right. Now let me just zoom in so you can see the difference between the frame and the background. Now let's duplicate this page and delete the background so we can work solely on the bubble. So here I have the frame and now I'm going back to elements. And in this case, I am going to search for a water drop, but do notice that if I search for just water drop, I will get some results that will not give me the drop I'm looking for. Therefore, I'm going to add the words transparent overlay. Now, how did I find this word? Well, I had to search for quite a while, but you can always click on the three dots on the right and then see the name of the element. So this is very helpful when you're looking for keywords and you're not sure what to search for. So as you can see, I have here all sorts of water drops, but I will take this perfect circle so it will match my frame. Adjust its size and oops, look at that. Once I move it around, it replaces the photo that I've already dragged and dropped into my frame. To avoid this, here's a tip for you. Go to the frame, lock it, and then once you move around the frame, it will never replace it. So let's adjust the size. And what I really like about this water drop is that it has a shadow and it has shiny light at the top of the circle. So it looks really realistic. Now let's search for our second element, which will be a bubble. But not every bubble. As you can see, I get a lot of speaking bubbles and comic bubbles. I am looking for a soap bubble. So let's add the word soap. And here you get beautiful soap bubbles. Some are crystal clear, some are colorful. Let's take this first one that is super clear and try to place that on top of our frame. And boom, look at that. Let's group this together, copy it and paste it on our first page. Now, as you can see, it will be easier for me to place it exactly in the middle if I just position it in the center and in the middle. And there you go. Now let's give it another try with a different kind of soap bubble. How about this one? This is a bit clearer and I like it better. Let's see what it would look like with a colorful bubble. Cute. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials and be the first to hear about them, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you get notification every time I publish a new tutorial. And also, you're welcome to join my Facebook community called I Can Canva, although in Hebrew, easily translated, and you'll enjoy many tips and tricks over there. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.